Hi, and uh, welcome to uh, another edition of um, David Ardmore Collector. Um, what I've got today is uh, what's described as um, a butter bowl or cheese bowl. Again, it's a nice functional item that was produced by Ardmore in those days uh, in the early 1990s when an awful lot of what they were producing was indeed functional, designed to be used and uh, also a pleasure to have something like this on your table. Um, it is a bowl as you can see and uh, it is, there we are, perfect for keeping your food protected from any bugs that might be flying around the table as you sat down there tucking into whatever meal it might be. Okay, the zebra bowl. It's on dated from 1995. It says on the bottom, let me just show you the bottom. There we are. That painting is by Kumele, and that's confirmed there on the base. And I believe the full name of the lady is Kumele Nene. That's N-E-N-E. -E -N -E. The there's no mention of who actually sculpted it, but Pumeli um, has been described as sculptor, modeler and painter in the uh, Ardmore book, where I get most of my information from. And I got to assume that she's responsible for the, the complete um, piece that we have. And indeed, it is typical Ardmore insofar as where you can see the flowers and the, the stems and the leaves, they are all in relief. They all stand slightly proud of the overall um, bowl itself. And of course our zebra at the top, magnificent looking fellow, beautifully sculpted and lovely, well painted. And if I'll just do a quick swim around there, I love these. These are almost like palm uh, shape leaf figures and uh, beautifully painted in the Ardmore style. Great big flower and some of these little individual flowers here that are again uh, not cool. just nice you know what can you say about them and we've got from uh, coming up here all the stems going out to the bit to the flowers and there she is okay I'm going to point out to this on, on the colors on the rim here and you'll find this reflected also on areas around and let me just take this off and show you the interior all of those stripes come back to the wonderful painting of this zebra on the beat on the base inside colors are taken from here reflected here in and around the rim and again here on the piece itself it stands only five and a half inches tall and the diameter across here is 10 inches so although it appears quite large it you know if you've got a, a pound of butter or something or a nice lump of cheese it it actually um it works well it's perfect for it does its job i'm now going to take this off because i just like to show you the view from above and there you can see how, how it looks like from above. There will be obviously on face slap and Instaprat, there will be um, photographs to uh, allow you to have a much closer look at the piece itself. There we are. That's all I've got to say about this piece. It's nice. Uh, Flat Eric is absent. He's away with his um, his lady friend, uh, Flossie the Flamingo, and I haven't seen them for a couple of days, so I just hope that they're behaving themselves. And uh, what I've got to do, what I'm going to do next time, is I'm going to uh, actually uh, talk about a, an artist um, who... Uh, was affected by the 
AIDS uh, epidemic and who pulled through and her a wonderful artwork that she currently does and that's for my my next offering so until then um, I hope you've enjoyed this one bye bye